the day is finally here. <laughs> you guys, I finally got coilovers. I'm so excited. So today we are installing them on my Subaru WRX STI. I should probably change my shirt. Be right back. All right, much better, a little bit more appropriate. So these are the Fortune Auto 500 series coilovers for the WRX STI. I already have them adjusted and ready to go. I've ordered from a lot of different Subaru parts stores and this is my first time ordering with MA Performance and I am super impressed, not only because they reshared my Instagram story, but they had fast and free shipping, of course. I think there's like a minimum for it, but the shipping was completely free. I ordered them late Monday night. I got an email confirmation that they had shipped Tuesday morning and they arrived by Thursday at 5 p.m. So I feel like that was super fast shipping. I didn't pay extra for it. They also included free coil covers with my order. It was like a limited time promo, but I still think it's super cool that they do things like that. So there are so many different options for coils for the WRX. I decided to go with Fortune Auto because I did a poll on my Instagram for either Olin's or BC Racing, and almost all of my experienced, already lowered, low rider WRX friends recommended I go with Fortune Auto. Um, and of course I did not want to cheap out because ride quality and performance is super important to me. So I decided to go with what was recommended. So let's go ahead and get this install started. At the end, I will take it out on a test drive, but we'll see how it feels, but let's go ahead and get into it. Just kidding, I didn't like that shirt. So I got it lifted, gonna remove the tire. We'll start with the front one and then the back and then we'll jump to the other side. So this is the brake line which we need to remove and I'm just using a 12 millimeter on that to loosen it off. And then you just want to pull it down and set aside. And then this is the ABS line. So these are just long nose needle pliers, long nose pliers. So there's like a little lever in here, you just need to squeeze it together and it should just wiggle it out. Hold on a moment. Hold please. Out of here. Hello. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this whole coil over and so I can't even get this up? And now we're gonna remove these uh, long boy bolts. I don't know what they're called, but <laughs> there's two of them down here. I don't know if you can really see, but there's this top one and this bottom one. All right, so I tried to move you over a little bit so that way you can see a little bit more of what I am actually doing. I think I did that backwards, huh? No, I didn't. Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna get it flush. All right, so I brought the jack over. I'm gonna lift it up. There's a bolt underneath here, so this will just support it. Not to where it lifts it and not to where there's a space where it's gonna fall down, but I just want it to be lifted enough to support it because I'm going to pop the hood, loosen the OEM placement just enough so that way it 
you know, supports it. <laughs> Probably move you so that way you can kind of see the top here. All right, so I'm going to loosen these three bolts here and that will let loose the whole OEM spring. I'm gonna leave one tighter just so that way it doesn't like completely fall out. And then I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter on those guys. Oh, is this what I want? Is this 19? I think I need a 12. This is way too big. I thought I took one out. I thought I took out a 12 and I did not. False. I did too. Ow! I did take it out. I just didn't bring it with me. Might be easier if you just came over and watched me do it because I'm not good at this camera stuff. <laughs> All right. So I got these loose. I'm not gonna loosen them completely because I don't want to do really scary stuff. So I'm going to back it on up so you can really watch me struggle. Good thing I checked because I did not have it fully supporting that screw down there, but now we're good. Okay. Now I feel... Hello. <laughs> so now we're good. Now I'm ready to drop this OEM honk -a -sh shoot back. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just hammering out those two long boy bolts. All right, and now we're installing the coilover. So um, basically just whatever we took out, we're just putting this in the place of, make sure the logo is facing towards the back. Alright, so I got the brake line back in there here. ABS line replaced as well. This is the full coil over. Just tighten down these two 
long boy bolt so this one was hell but finally got it through you torque these two to um 145 which i did with the automatic wrench and then here i just torqued that perfectly tight this you just kind of snap back into place at the top here you torque these to 14.5 14.5. I'll have them listed in the description box below too in case you need that for your WRX. But now I'll just put the wheel back on and we'll move on down to the rear. All right, just took a break, got caffeinated, and now we're moving on to this back end here. Getting real excited. All right, so I have a 17 and a 14 ratchet wrench. We're gonna remove this on this one, and this is a 10. No, this on this one, this one, and also this one, which is a 10. All right, so I need to remove the trunk liner in order to get to the top bolts for the rear coilover. I'm not sure how to do it, so just gonna kind of wing it. Moving on to the rear coilovers. So I set the gap here to an inch and a half just to start with. I'm adding on the coilover covers that Emma sent me. I'm just gonna put it on now since I can't really later.
Where am I? Why can't I see it? That looks so good. excited for this so I showered because I was filthy and I fixed my face now finally get to go drive it so right now I'm just gonna test drive it I'm not gonna go too far but I want to go far enough to really get a good feel for it so that way you guys can know how it is um, you know I'm almost positive that I'll have to make adjustments eventually but for right now I'm just gonna see where it's at and this is my first time driving it so you guys can see like my actual reaction and then if anything goes wrong you're here for it so and then so really I'm just hoping nothing goes wrong because that would be kind of embarrassing so <laughs>
think it's a lot better than stock unless it comes to hitting bumps. That's really, I guess, where I see like the biggest difference is going over like those sewer dips in the road. That's where it's only loud. It doesn't like, it doesn't like, it doesn't feel different. It doesn't feel like it's taking it harder than riding stock. I think it's just louder which isn't like too big of a deal. I dodge them whenever I can anyways, as should you, but <laughs> it's really not too bad. If anything, I want to say that it rides better than stock. I'm so happy. So I'm going to say 10 out of 10 would recommend. I just got off the highway and it felt so good. Um, like going over bumps and stuff. I was turning at like an intersection that I normally turn at. Um, so I'm super familiar with the turn and that's I think where I noticed like the biggest difference was on the turn I just like my natural movement felt like not the right way anymore Like it was like way sharper than I anticipated so that's really cool too It takes like less effort to make those turns which I think will be like super nice for racing and winning um, <laughs> um, I haven't noticed any scraping or anything yet which is good and on the highway, you know, I was doing maybe 65 plus, um, <laughs> and there's like a lot of bumps on the highway here. So like when I'd go over those bumps, even at like higher speeds, I didn't notice any rubbing. So that's good too. I don't think I'd want to go like for looks right now. I don't think I'd want to go any lower than what it's at already. and I'll make sure to include it in the description for you. I will also have included the ride height I have it set to and then the torque measurements that I used for um, for the install. And then this fucking driver behind me is like a lunatic. Anyways, <laughs> but yeah, so far so perfect. You know, I think I've gone over almost all the types of terrain that you would face in just normal like city driving and it is amazing. And of course, as always, if you guys have any questions, please just let me know. Leave it in the comments below. Um, I'll have more pictures of I'll have more pictures of the coilovers and just how it looks on my STI posted on Instagram. So you can check me out there. Had a really great time making this video for you. The coilover install really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I mean, it was it was easier, but also like harder at the same time. I actually just got done putting on coil overs, so. I was gonna say, are they yeah. coils or springs? Coils, coils. yeah. Which yeah. one do you go with? Fortunato. The Fortunato? Mm -hmm. Yeah.
probably my phone hitting the thing, the, the, the windshield. All right, so that does it for my coilover install video. I had so much fun doing this one for you guys. If this is something that you'd like to see more of, please just let me know. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.